Hey there, in this tutorial, you learn how to use a compressor on lead vocals. If you're new, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button down below, and let's get started. So a compressor is an effect used to control the dynamics of a vocal, of basically any sound running through it, but let's use vocals for the sake of this tutorial, okay? So now, when you record vocals, or even when you're talking normally, your voice tends to go up and down in terms of the loudness. There's times that your voice may get really loud, and sometimes your voice may sound quiet, okay? So now your compressor helps to control that imbalance and make it sound a lot more controlled when making music because we can't allow a lot of that irregularities going on while making music, okay? We need to have it under control. And dynamic range is simply the difference between the loudest parts and the most quiet parts, okay? So now you want to make sure that the, the quiet parts come up a bit and the loudest parts come down a bit so it sounds a lot more balanced, okay? That's what compression is all about, really. So right here is Fruity's stock compressor, a really great compressor. It's clean, does not add any color to the sound, which I typically recommend if you are mixing, the first stage of your mixing, you don't add color yet, you just want to control the dynamics, okay? So now I'm going to play the vocal so that we listen to it and spot the difference between the loudest and the most quiet part. See, I love you, I need you, see I want you, can't, can't hurt you, cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life, I love you, see I need you, see you love me, can can hurt you. So when you saying the I love you, I need you, so those eyes are really loud, okay? They get way louder than the vocals. And if, and if you even look at the audio file, which is not the best way to spot dynamic ranges, but if you look at the audio file, all right, you can even see the peaks, okay? You can see these parts are really big and the in-betweens are really quiet. You can see what's going on, right? So we need to control this to make it sound a lot more close to each other, okay? So and that's where we're going to load up the compressor right now. And so the threshold is simply at what point does the compressor start working? It's kind of like the gauge, the level at which you, you turn it into where it starts working, okay? If it's here, it's going to be too quiet until vocals get up to about... 6 dB, okay, before it starts cutting. Now, most times, you can have vocals that even go below to minus 14 dB, okay, but I would not advise you to go beyond minus 20 dB, okay? Usually, your vocals should be within, typically, for most times that I mix, I usually see vocals sitting around within minus 20 up to, let's say, minus 8, sometimes even minus 6, depends on how loud or quiet the vocals out. Even if you take it all the way down here, it's going to sound over compressed and we don't want it to sound over compressed. We want to retain the natural tone of the vocal. We just want to control the dynamics, okay? So I'm going to just leave this at minus um, 16, all right? And the ratio is simply how hard you want the compressor to work, okay? So if you have it here, let's see um, two ratio one, it's going to be a soft compression, okay? It's not going to really clamp the dynamics as much, okay? But when you take it up to, let's say, about four ratio one or five ratio one, okay? It's going to really try to clamp it down. But at the same time, you do not want to overdo this as well to stop it from sucking out the life from the vocal, okay? You just want to control the dynamics. Remember, you're only trying to control the dynamics, okay? So I'm going to take this down here. Let's just say we leave it at four ratio one, all right? And now the gain, typically when you compress vocals, right? It does tend to lose a little bit of volume sometimes. So this gain here, right here is for to compensate for maybe to increase if you lost volume or maybe to reduce if you if maybe the volume goes up, okay? So that's what that button is there for. And then we have the attack and the release. It's simply how fast you want the compressor to work, all right? So if you want it to start working very soon, you can see this, that's why it's being timed here, 15 milliseconds, all right? So if you want it to work very fast, you can adjust maybe about 10 milliseconds or so within that range, all right? And if it wants to work slow, maybe about 20 to 30 milliseconds, all right? But let's leave this vocal at, let's say, 10, about 10 milliseconds, all right? And then the release is how soon you want the compressor to let go of the signal when it's done working on it, okay? So we can just adjust this. Now, typically, most times you have this at around 200 milliseconds in FL Studio and some other plugins as well. You can make it fast release as well if you want to have a fast release or make you have a slow release okay but we'll just leave this at 200 milliseconds now let's listen to the vocal again see how it sounds this is with the compression on i love you i need you see i want you can't can't hurt you because i need you in my life i need you in my life Without the compressor on. I love you, I need you, see I want you, can't, can't hurt you, cause I need you in my life. You can see with the compression on, it's controlling the I want you, I need you. Now let's share it sounds 
with the beats, okay? So the beats turn on with the compression on. I love you, I need you, see I want you, can't can hurt you, cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you, see I need you, see you love me, can't can And now with the compression off. I love you, I need you, see I want you, can't can hurt you, cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you. So you can see without the compression, it sounds so inconsistent in the mix. And that's why understanding how a compressor works can make your mix sound really good. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so that people that need helpful videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. I remain Sir Classy. Hit the subscribe button for more tips and tricks. Cheers.